Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Today, we're in the savannah on Berhanga in the hunt call of the wild. And we're going to be running around on my personal map. I honestly don't know if I've even touched this map much since, but maybe once or twice since the population reset with Revan Tuli Coast. So there's a lot to be found. We also have the Eurasian Widgeon was added to the map so we can chase after those a little bit. And hopefully find something good. So if you like this kind of content, you like the Hunter Call of the Wild Way, the Hunter Hunter Simulation Shooter games, be sure to sub and ring the bell. We're growing quick. We're growing fast. Join in on the train as we just keep on cruising and we're going to crush 2020 through two. We're still in 2022 and then we're going to cruise right into 2023 and just dominate that year in this space. If you guys want to join along, let's do it. And without further ado, Let's jump right in. Well, let's start out kind of easy. We've got some blue wildebeest up here. We've got two level threes. This one's actually a little bit bigger. I was going to go for the gold, but let's go for that one because he's a little bit bigger. Neither one of them are going to be diamond, but they're both there. And is that really 400? No way. About 300 yards. And this gives us an opportunity to talk about weapons. So for these guys, we're going to be using the 6.5 millimeter. And well... Neither one of them were giving me a shot now. So that's, that's, that's cool. Um, well, let's, while we wait for them to give us a shot, let's talk the other guns that we're going to be using. So like I said, for these guys, we've got the 6.5 millimeter. I customized it a little bit to kind of go with Verhonga. Not really, but I just kind of like the look of this one. And then for our primary big game, because we are in Africa after all, we've got the 338 Lapua Magnum, or Lions Cape Buffalo, things like that that can kill you in a heartbeat. And then, of course, we're carrying our handy dandy 243 handgun for the smaller ones. And for the real small ones and the things you hear flying around in the air, we actually have the 22 Hornet today. This is a gun I don't use very often at all. So this is going to be quite interesting to use this and see how it all works for us but with these guys we'll be using the 6.5 I just need them to give me a looks we could swing right and take this guy maybe that's what we'll do I don't know how this 6.5 is going to perform so I would prefer to get the best shot possible on this guy that way we get a good idea of penetration power and all that it's been a while since i've used it i don't even know if i've ever used it on a blue wildebeest especially at this distance but let's give it a shot yeah there's a lion next to us oh i'm playing scrub hair and let's get out of here before this lion kills us we're gonna we're gonna get out of here let's go hopefully that guy goes down we'll see all right, here he is. He did go down. Didn't take too long. Took a little bit, so probably a single lung would be my guess. But our small, probably silver, gold wildebeest. Oh, no, he's actually a gold, gold wildebeest. How about that? 32.67. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. 379 meters is how far we tracked him. I don't know if that's how far he went, but I don't think it is. We shot him from 255. Let's see how good that 6.5 did. I actually did pretty good. That was just bad shot placement on my part. So, not too bad. Not too bad at all. 233.87 kilos. Whoop. Ah, there we go. There's something good. There's something good. And he's about 300. About the same as the last one. Let's see what he gives us. Kind of a bad... No, not a bad shot, actually. Not a bad shot at all. Okay. I just happened to glance down there and saw that guy standing there. Nice level four gold wildebeest. I'm gonna go pick him up, see what he scores. I didn't see anything else with him, which is kind of odd. Usually they're in packs. But oh, 
I'll take the opportunity. Man, that's just, it's nice. I know where he's at. I drop a waypoint through the binoculars. I'm really glad they added that feature. I do wish I could do it through the rifle scope as well, but beggars can't be choosers. I understand. Moment of truth on this guy. What is his score? He was up to 38. 36.24. Thought he might do it, but he doesn't. Let's see what we got for that shot. Why is that? Why is that saying I'm hitting the spinal cord? I mean, I'm not going to complain that I gave it to me, but <laughs> no wonder he went down so fast. A double lung spinal cord shot. It's saying the thoracic spinal cord, not the thoracic spine at all. I mean, okay, let's let's see about that. I, I, yeah, I, I have no idea why it's saying that. No, I, no idea. None, none at all. No idea why it says that. But hey, we got, we got him. So oh, there's that. Well, it has gone past noon in the game and you know what that means. It is lion drink time and I was kind of running around not hunting any drink time. Partially because I don't know what time things drink in the game other than lions. <laughs> yeah. So since it turned into lion drink time, I figured we might as well come and check. I've got one decent one here at my favorite lake. If I can remember where it was right there. 44 to 47 mythical now i just need to get a place where i can get a good shot on him which is going to be a little difficult because of where he's at and because of all the lions that are around this this one is why am i getting oh because there's a lion over there i was like why am i getting a warning thumb i'm not even close to that scrub hair but there is a lioness over there and we have two sevens at this lake as well, which is kind of cool, but we're definitely more so focused on uh, that guy there. It looks like we're about to get to a spot where I'm going to have a shot and we'll be able to put this 338 to work. Uh, why, why are we moving? Excuse me. Excuse me. Go back to where you were. You were. Okay. That works. Stop moving. Stop right there. That works. Oh, what? Well, that was horribly unfortunate. Oh, I think he bugged. That is just... There you gotta stand there and protect him, I guess. <laughs> um, there we go. And he died. Okay. That... That, that sucked. That, that really sucked. Let's see about making up for that with this guy. No, uh, he, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna mess with mess with this. That that's just unfortunate. He dipped down right to take a drink, right when I shot. Of course, he's standing there the entire time, not doing anything. We get a little closer. He starts moving around. And it gives us a perfect shot opportunity. As soon as I press fire, he crouches down. That would be my luck. And this guy just still standing there. I mean. I prefer not to get attacked by a lion, so we'll take him down. Easy enough with a hard shot. They seem to bug, which is not necessarily anything new. They bugged before like this. So I wish they would fix that with predators, because the wolves do it too. That when they go into a fleeing state or a defensive state, they just freeze. And it's, it doesn't make it quite as fun. Oh. Oh, you, you're both just going to decide to start floating now, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys over there. Yeah, you just keep on, keep on going. Yep. That, okay. We're going to go back over here. Well, here's our small one. Probably coming in to us. 42.65. That's a nice little lion. I'll take that. I'll take that. Tan weighing 203.6. Let's go see what his big brother scored. He's getting closer now. Now that we've waited around, should be able to get him here in just a half a second. Here he is. Here he is. Can we snag him? Can we snag him? Come on. Come on. There it is. Oh, I got lucky and got the liver. How about that? How about that? All right. Yes. 
Yes, thank you. It, the game didn't mess me up too bad. All right. And well, this guy scored 46.67, 239 kilos. Quite a bit off a of diamond. I don't think level eights can do it anyways, but nice to see a big guy like that on the map. Well, I decided to do a pig drive and I'm gonna see if we can't get a good shot on this guy. This is a decent sized diamond potential warthog. Now, if he gives me a shot, that'd be awesome. But I made him flee because I wanted to drive him out into the open. And now it's a little bit hard. I also have that nice lesser kudu, but not too interested in her or him. I should say. Where'd our warthog go? There he is. Ah, uh, doesn't want to give me a shot. I'm not sure if I hit that. I did. I did hit him. Oh boy. I don't, oh, I think the 6.5 is pretty flat shooting. So he was over 200. Almost to 250, we we're 150 meter zero. We held right about the middle of his skull. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I would suck if I mess up my first uh, diamond <laughs> warthog, but sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. No way. We got vital blood. I'm, yeah, I'm really glad I did that. I wanna see. <laughs> Where exactly we hit on this little guy? Look at that. He's red brown. Dang, he's got some big old tusks on him. Is it? Ah, it's gold. 57.66. Barely. Barely missing it. Got him in the liver. We got lucky with that liver shot. We keep getting lucky hitting that liver, but this guy's a pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking feller. Let's spin around. Dang, check that guy out. That was oh. So close to being a diamond, but not quite. That's a good looking little warthog with the red mane and the kind of red flakes all over on his skin. I like that. I really would like to get a diamond of these. I think they're pretty cool with the big old, big old warthog tusks on them. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll do it. And it just, if they could give us a skull mount, you know where you mount like European hares and ducks and stuff on tables and the plaques that are flat on flat surfaces. It'd be really cool if we could get skull mounts for these guys that would fit there. Oh, that would be so cool to do a skull mount of something like this in one of those plate-like mounts. That'd be really cool. Well, I was trying to find a good warthog and we're getting close to the end of their drink time. And we do have this level four, he's max weight, not a diamond potential, but still max weight. One that I'll take and apparently drop. I'm not sure what just happened. He's not moving. He's like down like he's dead. It was going down fast, but he wasn't dead yet. He is now, but that was interesting. This is just kind of a fun run. It's kind of like doing Cape Buffalo and I plan to do it with the Kudu before we wrap up the video of just kind of running around along the coastline and seeing what you can find because there's so many. You guys just saw that massive herd of warthogs there. It's the same way with capes, same way with lesser kudu. And since I haven't done it on my map yet with either warthog or lesser kudu, I figured we might as well do it today. So today's a good day to get a diamond or a good animal, period. Let's see what this guy scores. 52.31, got him with a double lung. I mean, I wouldn't move either. I would just drop down too. Like I said, in the last with the last Warthog, we need that 58.91. I would take an albino too. An albino of these would be so cool. So, so cool. I mean, it is past their drink time, but things kind of, kind of take some time to come in. So you never know. It looks like we got another one out there. We'll just keep going. If we find some more, bring you guys along. If not, we'll at least get some kudu. Now, that's a pretty good looking 
Kudu. I like that. We have a herd here. Nothing real good looking in there. There is a four, but he's pretty small. But that guy, that guy's looking pretty good. I just shot one to double check what diamond is. And that'll give me a good idea of what that guy is. Because he looks half decent. So he does look good, but he's not diamond potential. 151.68 is what I just found to be diamond. But hey, let's take this guy down. As we're getting yelled out by a cave buffalo, hopefully we won't get charged. But let's see about sinking a shot in right over that hill. Got him. Sank the shot right over the hill. Still using the 6.5 Creed or 6.5 millimeter. I'm not going to say it's a Creed more. Not sure. I would like it to be Creed more, but they don't say. But that's beside the point. Let's go pick this guy up. Here he is. Check him out. Dying in a perfect pose for us. Look at that. I think that's a good look. Kudu. Probably my best one. 144.14 on a score. Like I said, 151.64. That's what we need. Not quite there. Gray fur type, 96.03 on the weight. He was up there. We got a liver, lung, double lung. Good shot. Good shot. Good, good shot. Now, check this guy out. Oh, if we can see him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is that him? Oh, that's him. Look at that. What a little guy. What a little guy. Let's take him. Got a good shot on him. I was I couldn't tell. I thought he was about 300. He was a little under. That's why I held low. And we got him down. Let's go get this Hall of Shame worthy kudu picked up. Well, here he is. Quick look at this Hall of Shame guy. 97.43. That's pretty cool. I haven't done one that small. I'm sure they get smaller too. But let's go ahead and taxi him. He'll be a placeholder when I get around to setting up a Hall of Shame. Pretty neat. All right. I have been looking and looking and looking. Finally have another level four. That's a level three. He just rendered in. Looks like a few more over there. Keeping my eyes peeled, but let's not waste too much time. Let's take this guy down. Level four. Decent estimate. Not going to be a diamond. And I think I might have hit low. No, we got it. Sweet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't think we actually hit that, so I'm glad we did. Hey, I've been all along almost the entire east side coastline. Pretty much the entire north coastline. Now we're on the south coastline of Verhanga. And that's been one of the better ones so far. We do have one that goes up to 153, I believe, was his estimate. But I didn't take him. I just... Transparency, I shot and totally don't know where my bullet went. I think I hit low. He was about 220 out. I had a 150 zero and I did aim a little low, not as low as I thought I did, but it must have aimed too low and we missed him. So this guy will have to do. And here he is right here. Didn't go far at all. So he must have got a good hit. Got a little double lung action. Just barely missed that heart. Actually, I want to see how close we were. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I think we clipped the heart on that shot. Uh, I think we clipped the heart. Oh, yeah. You could see the heart there. Oh, come on. Totally clipped that heart. That's... Mm -hmm. That's messed up. I think we hit it. I think we hit the heart on that guy. But 138.97. 91.4 kilos on his weight. And... That there's going to wrap it up, guys. Appreciate you sticking it all the way through. I had a lot of fun running on Verhanga. I always forget how enjoyable Verhanga Savannah is to hunt. It's it's a little challenging in some places because of all the reeds on the lakes. But for the most part, it's quite enjoyable. It's The animal species is totally unique to this map. Except for now, of course, the Eurasian Widgeon, which is on Reventuli as well. So it's, oh, well, we got a whole nother hood there. Let's make sure we don't have something special. No, nothing, 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 nothing. So yeah, it's um, 
it's just because of the animal difference it's such a fun map to hunt and i really enjoy it and i hope next year we're getting another verhunga type of map but we'll have to wait and see like I said at the start of the video, if you like this kind of content, you like the Hunter Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter, and you liked my personality and the way I do my videos, consider hitting the subscribe button. This train's are rolling. We're getting real close to 1K. If we haven't hit it already, I'm recording this in advance. So I don't know if we hit it already, but we might have, we might not. But help me hit that 1K goal of getting that before the end of December so we can roll into 2023 headstrong and crush everything YouTube has to offer. And then, of course, last but not least, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.